Hello! Damn camera. <coughs> Hello! And welcome back to Spectrobes. The Nuzlocke. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm here at the lab system. That's because last night I did a lot of grinding for minerals. And now I have several creatures who are ready to evolve. I need this to do it. There we go. Komonoto. Hell yeah. That's one down. I have several of these. The next one is this dude. This guy's ready to evolve. This is the first evolve form that you'll see. Ta-da! Spikenor! This guy was one of my favorites when I first played this game. Does he have... a part? He does not. Okay. Again, parts in this game don't do anything for stats. That's not until the next game. Anyway. Then we have one more. This guy. With his buff out of this mine defense. Actually, I don't think I've ever evolved this guy before. I don't think I've ever seen this. This is new to me. I did a lot of stuff in these games, but I never actually uh, evolved all of them. This is new. He looks really cool. Nice. Now then. For this person to evolve, they need to be level 45. Eggway had to be a defense of at least 380. And Spike had to be attack of at least 320. So now, I'm going to take these and see what they can do. I don't know what buffs this one has, but we're going to find out. We're gonna go to the lineup. And the lineup is gonna tell us what these do. Let's see. You are a. I don't know what the up means. Charge? At least the high voltage bolt of energy that shocks foes. Ooh. Interesting. What are you? You are attack plus two, but defense minus one. Explains that. Your defense plus two. Speed down. Your speed up one. Your speed and attack up. Okay, so I don't need the attack up anymore from you. What are you? Your defense up? Okay, so we got attack and defense up. You don't do anything. You are speed up by one. You don't do anything. Okay. So now we have plus two attack, plus two defense. Good. We'll see how that works. <coughs> yeah. I suck a lot of minerals into these guys. Just to get them up to a point where they can evolve. 
But now we need to head back to Colin because they were being attacked by Crawl. I just kind of left them hanging while I went digging. That's only one area still. Yeah. Here we go. I should probably save just in case. Okay, that's definitely some music. Ah, there's one. I just glitched through the floor. I've never seen that happen before. All right. Ooh, perfect. Nice. Okay, he got canceled. Oh. Apparently now he has... What is... Roll. That's weird. Okay, that's pretty good. Nice. Okay. We're still fine. I took a bigger hit than I would have liked, but... Still fine. Uh, the blue dude needs to be level 45 to evolve. Oh god. Oh, these monsters are new. And there's two of them. Yay. Okay. I don't know what roll does. Ah, I feel like that could be bad if I'm not careful. Missed entirely. Good job. A little slow, but he still hit it. Seems a little hard to knock back, which is good. Gotcha. And that should be his defense up. 36. Nice. Basic antidote. Okay. The question is, can I still buy stuff? A bit of a pinch here. We need some assistance. Yes, please. I have a lot. Well, more, anyway. Okay. Level 4, that increased my health. Greatly. And it costs 75. Yep. I will take it. Okay, can't get a better glove. I can get a better sword. This my attack a little bit there. Blaster, what does this do? Nothing particular. Just, uh... Plus 10. I think this thing was also plus 10. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, so right now, I'm about as good as I can be. Ugh. Yep. Let's see. Items? No. Status? Might be status. Not status. Battle set. That's the one. That's equipped. This. Equipped. This. That's equipped. 
this. That's more like it. Don't know what my health is now. Place the specters that will be used in battle. Nope, that's fine. Do I have... What is this? Basic antidote. All your allies by 25. It's at least helpful for me. By a bit. Hopefully we don't fight anything that'll target me too harshly. Get over here. Okay, we have... What is that, a blue one and a yellow one? There we go. Oh, I don't know what you are. I don't know what your equipment does or is. Oh, God. Okay, so you're... You seem to be Corona aligned. Let's take it out. Or not do anything at all. Okay, we're fine. Let's do it once. Yes. And then I can probably just... Heh. There we go. Only plus six for that? Deluxe Serum. That's good. Everything is in my way. Get out of it. Okay, so these two. Yes. You take out that one. Buddy. No. Nope. Nope. Uh, this one. This one. There we go. Need you to attack. Oh, buddy. This guy. I think you missed. Missed again. All right. Get it. Missed. Okay, you you stand still, please. Just for a minute. There you go. There we go. His attack will level up on the next one. That's good. Keep it up. Oh, Jesus. Ow. Okay. Just take a bullet to the face. Why not? That's one. The other one. That's two. Your turn. Okay, that didn't work. What does this do exactly? Oh. That was really fucking powerful, holy shit. <laughs> Got a huge knockback and it just does a fuck ton of damage. I'll take it. Alright, I just need Samus to get to 45. The big problem with this game is that I can use dupes. However, if I want to replace the monster that I've been using, I have to start from level 1 again. Nope, I missed. Missed again. Okay, fine.
There we go. Woo! I'm more afraid that I'll have to fight um, a boss monster by the end of this with less than a hundred hit points on my on my uh, main character here. Because if my main character goes down, I get the game over and I lose a life. I have three lives. I've lost one already. And I've put that in because I'm very restricted on what I can do compared to Pokemon. Okay. You fight that. You fight that. You fight that. Nice. You get that. Hell yeah. Now we're getting good. Damn, 424 defense. That's an incredible. Immense. The more I fight, the better. Missed one. Got it. Oh, buddy. That works. Missed one. Back up. Missed entirely. Ah, come on, face the right way. Go over here. There we go. Woo! We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Deluxe serum. Hell yeah. Cutscene. Slightly. Oh, that's not good. Galactic Gargoyles. That's the biggest crawl I've seen yet. Crawling! You're just in time. What are these foul things? Our weapons don't have any effect on them. Leave this to me, Commander. I have the Spectrobes with me. Oh, God. Attacking MVP headquarters was a faulty move. This, It's game over for you now, Crawl Slime. Hey, Zach, how you doing? Prepare for extinction. Let's do this. Oh, God. Oh, and it brought friends. What? Ye did it bring friends. Um. Okay, I need to get rid of the friends first because I think they heal it, it looks like. Oh, God. Ah! Oh, shit! No! 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 Um, I can't. I don't have any items. Oh, God. Oh, God. I have to charge this. Ah! Uh. Come on, give me something I can use here. Oh boy. I don't know how much that will do. Didn't quite take out that one. Oh god. Okay, you. Get it. Ha! Another one bites the dust. Jesus. Oh boy. Oh boy. Six hit points. Come on. Come on. Come on. As long as I can keep knocking him back, I'm good. Yes! Whew! That was way too fucking close. Oh, Jesus. Whoa! Oh, he's so close to 45!
Commander, are you alright? I'm barely alright myself. I'm fine, I'm fine. They came out of nowhere and suddenly headquarters was under attack. Our weapons didn't even slow them down. I know, normal weapons don't phase them a bit. So it's true. Spectrobes are our only hope of fighting them. I'm amazed they were able to make such short work of such a large creature. Me too. That's the first crawl I've seen of that size. Seems like positive proof that a crawl swarm could be on its way. Listen up, Rollin. I need to speak with you, Gina and Aldous, together right away. Yes, sir. Gina? What's up, Rollin? Get Aldous and get, get here right away. The commander wants to speak with us. We're on our way. I'm going to have Gina and Aldous start working on a strategy to repel this demon, inv demon invasion. I guess you could call them demons. That's the first time they've called it demons in this game, though. <coughs> you rest up for your next mission. Also, talk to some of the witnesses and see if they have any clues. Understood, sir? Uh, commander's in a meeting. You can wait for him outside. I heard that the museum is open and allowing visitors in again. This meeting could take a while. Why don't you go over there and have a look? Yeah, it, it's only going to get harder. You, know, you want to know what the worst part is? I can use... I know... Do I need to heal? Oh, hold up. Sometimes it'll, it'll heal automatically, but let me see. I am not healed. Uh, but the worst part is that I can use duplicates because of how few there are. The problem is that if I lose a monster, the only way I can get a new one is by starting over from level one. Unless I prep the second one in advance. Trying to fight the black vortexes? How? I'm gonna try to heal. If you need equipment, just talk to the officer in the corner. Yep. I wonder if beating that boss unlocked anything new. It did! Ooh! What is this? Plus 125 defense? 145 defense plus 160 defense. This costs really only 1250. Rather dangerous weapon that enemies should fear. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. If it's only 1250, that's fucking amazing. Okay, sword plus 50 plus 60 plus 70. I mean, my my attack doesn't count for shit. In any case, I didn't know what kind of blaster you have here. Power 20 blaster fires an energy shot that explodes and shatters everything in close range. God. This is plus 15, this is plus 20. Power 10 blaster fires two missiles that home in on enemies. Oh, that's good. I should get that instead. It's the same power, but it has homing missiles. Which is effectively better. Especially if both missiles home in on one target. And it's essentially just, the, just this. Minus the explosion. <coughs> I do need it. That's why I got it. Okay. Now what I really need, eventually, is going to be the colored suits. Because there are places that have negative effects just just as an area so like there's a place that's covered in aurora so i have to wear this so it doesn't damage me just by being there it's like taking field damage if i don't have the right equipment it's going to hurt me Fifteen thousand? what do you fucking mean it's like i need to sell my platinum minerals good thing i kept those
What about in battle? Out of battle. Out of battle. I take field damage out of battle. Without the, without the specified equipment. I don't need it yet. I would appreciate a higher level equipment, but I currently don't have the money to afford it. And it affects my spectrobes too if I don't have the right spectrobes on me. So eventually I'm going to need to raise a pair of really good Corona spectrobes. That's going to be an ass and a half. Okay, I can't go to my ship. <coughs> okay. That was stressful. I almost lost my second life there. Let's see. It's fine. I'll do the grinding off screen and nobody will care. Let's see, well, I... I walked down here before when there was an infestation and I phased through the bridge for some reason. Question is, where is the museum? I don't know, it was a weird, weird clip. I clipped through the bridge for some reason. Is this the museum? Excavating tools, ooh. What have you got? Recovery tool. Sonic tool. Break ground away from items during excavation. Oh, let's not use that one. Solvent liquid. Special solvent to dissolve debris that clings tight to items during excavation. Okay. It can be used for automated mineral excavation. I think this I think the use of the these equipments depends on my level, which is currently only three. The maximum is six. There, there's an excavation level. And my current excavation level is three. It goes up to six. Scan, use that. Drill a small drill and break a small rock. I mean... Where is the museum? Once you unearth a mineral, that tool will automatically dig up other minerals of the same type for you. I don't really recommend it for excavating fossils. Oh! It just auto automatically excavates minerals. In that case, I will absolutely take it. Three thousand gura for it. How do I equip? How do I equip the different tools there? Or is it a one-time use? That's what I'm scared of. I don't know how to equip that for my excavation. Where is the museum? They said that the museum was open, but I have no fucking clue where it is. This is the headquarters. If you're looking to buy items, you need to go to see the trader. His shop is just west of here. Excavation tools go to the outpost just south of the trader's shop. Well, that doesn't help me at all. This is the headquarters for the Nana Iro police force. Maybe I need to go this way and then this way. Over here. That's not it. 
Where's the museum? Because I'm pretty sure that has something to do with the story. Going forward. Where are you? Cool of, total of seven planets. This planet colon is the third. First planet is Genshi. Daichi. Fourth is Nessa. Fifth is Zeba. Sixth is Himuro. And seventh is Mado. Our ships are only capable of reaching as far as Zeba. Where's the museum? Is that another part of the planet, maybe? Germs and antidotes must be equipped. Wait, what? Hold up. You wish to use them during battle. To equip these items, just access the Rollin file, the battle set area, the Prismod. Press the B button to switch between items, then press the X button to use. Oh, I can't use them in battle. Ah, uh, excuse me. Spectrobes. Okay, I can only use one. This restores all allies. I get it now. What about you? Okay, that's interesting. Uh -huh. Maybe it's on a different part of the system. Or part of the, uh, the planet, I mean. Can I even leave? I have no idea if I can leave right now. Ah. We've still got a lot to do before we can leave this planet. Or not. I really wish there was something like a overhead map or something. Oh wait, I haven't been this way. This must be where the museum is. Yeah, now we're talking. Ooh, and I can find fossils here. And minerals. Here we go. Put you there. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, this is gonna make mineral searching so fucking easy. Ta da! I get no experience for it, though, is the only problem. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> it's this new tool I got. I get no experience for using it, but it just automatically digs up any mineral I've already found. <laughs> is this a cube I already have? I don't know if I have Delta. Will it work on this? It did? Okay. I'll take it. Okay, this is a fossil. Alright, fine. Uh, the tool is not recommended for fossils. I have no clue. We can find out. 
If it's something I've dug up before, maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work. Okay, is this something I've dug up before? Because that's the only way that it works. Uh, yes, it's a, sh it's a spy pod. That's why. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the museum. Ooh, hello. Just makes mineral farming a hell of a lot easier. This one I found. Ups. Oh, this is new. I have not found the Upsilon. Yeah. Okay. Is this new? I haven't dug up anything on Colin before. No, it's not new. I'll need it. Okay. Where is the entrance to the museum? The museum is filled with rare items gathered from across the star system. I'm really hoping somebody is here that can buy my stuff. Long time for life to return to normal. They're only here for a couple days. See, did you see the stone? The deep green color really takes my breath away. It just looks like a furnace right there. Filled with rare items gathered from all over the star system. Gotta see the fossils, they're amazing. They said that ancient people studied the creatures that turned into these fossils. Over the centuries and millennia, we've lost all their knowledge. Well, good thing we're reviving them. Don't miss the minerals, they're gorgeous. Some have even been made into jewelry. People use minerals in a different way. Lost technology. Okay. Wondering if anyone is buying my minerals. Watch out for the curator. He'll talk your ear off if you let him. Just the curator? I'd say so. You look like an MPP officer. Are you the one who saved the headquarters? We all did, thanks for asking. Alien creatures attacking the planetary patrol. What is Nun Arrow coming to? I'm just glad everyone, everybody's all right. Let me introduce myself. My name is Webster. I'm the curator of the museum here on Colin. I'm very proud to announce that we are officially open again after our big renovation. This is the first time you've seen our precious glowing green stone. It's the pride of our museum. It's an incredibly rare find from the ancient ruins of Nessa. Professor Kate believes that it was once part of an interstellar spacecraft used by the ancients. A spacecraft capable of reaching Him Himuro and Mado, the distant sixth and seventh planets. Sounds completely unbelievable, doesn't it? I'm not sure what to think of such a theory. In fact, most scientists who've heard the theory think it's completely ridiculous. You know, I've seen another stone just like this. However, it was a different color. Young man, surely you aren't claiming to have seen a jewel as rare and precious as this one. Uh, of course not. I'm sorry. Rollin, our strategy session is over now. Can you come back to headquarters pretty quick? After that. Okay, so that deals with that. Nobody here is buying my minerals, which is unfortunate. I guess I'll have to go to Nessa for that.
All right, right over here. Not there. They're going here. Yeah. And then... Okay, this guy's out of the way now. And I can talk to these guys. Here we go. Reporting for duty, sir. Welcome back. According to Aldous, the massive crawl we saw was a leader type. The appearance here is a clear indication that crawl have indeed targeted our system. I believe it was a... Vilakin agent? They're like scouts for the crawl. Their kind arrive first. Once they appear, the swarm is usually not far behind. Therefore, it seems obvious the crawl will try to establish a nest somewhere in our system. From this nest, they will launch their invasion on all of the planets in our system. We must find and exterminate this nest as quickly as possible. Our fate hangs in the balance. The crawl build their nests in very specific environments. We analyze the data on all the planets to pinpoint likely locations of the nest. Rollin, listen up. I have some important instructions for you and Gina. I want you to go to Ziva, the fifth planet in the system. When you arrive, make contact with Professor Kate. She's an expert on the ruins there. She recently reported sightings of creatures that must cert surely be crawled. Ziva is covered with magnetic waves. Is our ship capable of making a safe landing there? Leave that to me. I'm going to apply a demagnetizing coating to the hull. Take care of anything you need to now. I should be finished by the time you get back to the ship. Well, I don't really need anything new right now. I've kind of been where I need to be. I might want to... Eh, no, I'm fine. We're fine. I'll just go back to the ship. And I'll move on. I do need to stop by Nessa and sell my platinum minerals. They sell for like 3,500 each. Okay, let's save. But I'll have to go through all that bullshit again, just in case. Go here first. Just a quick stop. Yeah, I got like a lash that's sticking into the corner of my eye. This way. And talk to this dude here. Okay. Seventeen five. We're gonna go check with Aldous before we go anywhere else. 
Wait, I can just uh, speed things up a little bit. Luckily, there's no restrictions for jetpacks indoors. Okay. I found an Epsilon cube. Okay. So I had found the Delta cube before. This is a very unique cube. This one will enable the card input system. Card input system is now functional. Okay, the card input system in this game was kind of a unique thing. You got these cards with the game, they had little holes in them, and when you followed them in the correct order, you got a, you got a spectrum or item or something for it. So let's see what the card inputs are. You can look those up. Okay. That's beyond the portals, I think. Okay. So here's one. Where does it go? Uh, main problem here, but it seems it's a little bit wonky. Alright, so if this works right, then... One... Two... Three... Four... What? Okay, for some reason that's not working. Try this one. What? I guess I can't use this one yet. Okay. Let's try... This one. What do you mean? Why can't I use these? Huh? What do you mean the- What do you mean? These are the cards that I'm looking at! it out. Okay. I was going not far enough into the corners. Now we're talking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Alright, I can't quite use that right now. Let's use something a bit more practical. Let's try... Try 
buy this one. This is custom part and a custom color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's, uh, adult or evolved is the thing. Let's try this thing. Hell yeah! Albasaur Apex. Nice. It's a custom color as well. Ooh. This this is the one. Real Dragos. The custom color too. There it is. <laughs> I love it. Okay. What about... Okay, that's... Must finish the game. This isn't cheating, it's a gameplay mechanic. I promise. Plus, like I said, they have to start at level one, regardless. Oh, not that one. Fuck. You're the wrong one. It's here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Anyone else I can enter? I don't know why that one is not in. These custom parts didn't do anything, so... It's not a huge deal whether or not I actually get them. Anaphant, maybe? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That looks ridiculous. Nah. Okay, that was just fun stuff. I promise I'll only use them if I get into pinch. And my hand died at some point, apparently. There we go. Okay, that was just for fun. Anyway. Now I need to go... Here. Zeba. Plan itself is apparently... Blocked. I can't go anywhere else until I visit here first. Oh, jeez. What is it? What's wrong? This is strange. Zeba's magnetic field is far stronger than the initial data predicted. What's causing it? 
I don't know. I think it has something to do with Ziva's moons. They're orbiting far faster than usual. I'm losing control. We're going to have to crash land on Ziva. Mayday, Mayday. Rollin, do something. What can I do? We're falling. Hello. That wasn't a picture perfect landing, but at least we're alive. Maybe fine, but I'm really worried about the ship. We hit the ground really hard. While you're looking for Professor Kate, I'm going to run a full diagnostic on the ship. Yes, I'm stuck here. More saving. Okay. Now we're here. More awesome music. Hello? We're assisting Professor Kate in her research. Alright. Oh god, this these are the perfect characters to create the meme. Y'all know the meme. Oh, hello. I would imagine that a new planet would mean that there are more higher quality minerals. Guess not. No point in wasting my time with it. Nope, not that button. Ooh, hello. Do I have you already? Zeta. I think I do have you. I did not! Oh, now I know. Next time I find a Zeta Cube, I'll pick it up. And do it properly. Okay. Less than four seconds. New fossil? That's a new fossil. This might be the creature that I just got with the big tusks. Looks like really weird sphinx. Maybe. Kasupod. No, I don't think it was. Okay. That's that. Just gotta remember to come back for the Zedic Cube later. Okay. Here we go. Time to time for a fight. Oh. Okay, this is actually perfect. Okay, that hurt a lot. Note to self. Stay away. You missed entirely. Good job. Okay. As long as I get knocked back. <laughs> oh, Jesus. His attack and defense went up. Awesome. Level 45. Now I just need Samus to get a level 45. And we'll be golden. And I'm going back. Just as well. This will respawn the Zeta Cube. Okay. I am not in a position for this place. The good thing I bought that new glove, otherwise I think I would have died immediately. And that would have been bad.
Okay. Just fight you real quick. Get out of the way. Okay, more of this. Right, I do see a slight issue. Good. Where are you? That's good. Keep doing that. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. There we go. Okay. We're fine, we're fine, everything's fine. Twenty thousand apparently. Okay, let's go over here and grab this properly without breaking it. Is that a cube? Yep. to be a new cube. These. Okay. Yep. This one. There we go. There's a fossil there. Moving on. Okay, note to self, be much more wary of the opponent's attack mo movements. Let's see. Hello there. Get over here. I need your minor G. Alright. Uh... Roll like that. Nice. The great thing about that move is that if they get anywhere in its vicinity, they take an immense amount of damage. I fucking love it. Ah, oh, it's so good. Okay. Can't really go that way. I have to go this way. Okay, you're in the way. I have to fight you. No problem. I hope. Okay, wasn't quite what I wanted there. Ah, shit. There we go. Okay, we're fine. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. That's the question of where do I go from here? Here? Professor Kate has researched the ancient civilization that once flourished in the star system. I'm trying to find the best spots for mineral collection. Because on this planet, I shouldn't find anything lower than green. A 
lot of pinks. Unless it's a double, apparently. That's kind of disappointing. Okay, I'm gonna check this cube real quick. Is this the cube that I have? The Theta Cube. I think I have the Theta Cube. We'll find out. Yep. We already have the Theta Cube. Up there. Huge crater in this area. Nope. Surprisingly little. Ah. One single fossil. Is it unique? No. I have two comas. Okay. This way. It's gotta be here, right? I hope so. Okay, you hit him once. Good job. Come a little closer. That's one down. Yes, entirely. Back up, back up, back up. Good job. Nice. Oh, that's what you're hitting him with. Oh, hey. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Stop doing weird shit. There we go. Jesus Christ. That was way too much effort. Come on, you just need four more levels. Okay, these guys seem to be even. I don't seem to be either weaker or stronger for you. Either of these guys. Roll for it. Can I keep them distracted? Take care of that one. Back up. Gotcha! I love it. I love it. Awesome. 42. Anything up here? I highly doubt there's anything I can dig up on the metal areas. Okay, this is a different section. I don't know if that means it's safe. Like there's a crawl here or what? Have you seen the glowing red stone? It's a priceless treasure called a keystone. Professor Kate found it. He's trying to use the keystone to power this machine. Well, now we've seen all three of them. Okay, you distract these two for me, please. Or all three of them. That works too. Nice. Oh, God. Okay, you hit one of them. That's fine. Fine. Everything's fine. Um, let's do this. Nope, need to actually aim in their general direction. Uh, can you... 
Gotcha. Oh, that's cool, actually. Nice. Okay. Everything is awesome. Welcome back. I am currently stressing the fuck out. Let's see. What are you playing if I lose? If I lose, I'll go back to Zelda. And again, I have two lives left. You stay there. You. Take care of these guys. Oh boy. That didn't work. Meh. That didn't work at all. That's one down. There you go. And then... Ah! Oh, shit! On the main character, yes. I set up... I set up that... I, I just set that up as a self... One of the self-imposed rules. Because I'm very limited on what I can do here. Compared to Pokemon. So, the main character has th has three lives. I've lost one already. The Spectrobes, I can freely get dupes because there's so few of them. The main issue with that being, I have to... If I want to replace one with the same monster, I have to start from level one with that monster. Hello. Never pass up on this opportunity. Lambda. I have Lambda. And if it doesn't do much for stats, it's good money. Hello. That's new. Azurites. This is minus a bit of health, but the defense skyrockets with this one. No. Okay. Hi there, Professor Kate. Oh, damn. <laughs> the hair kind of reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh characters. Are you from the Planetary Patrol? I'm Professor Kate. Pleasure to meet you. Please call me Rollin. Are you the one that reported the Black Vortex is swarming around here? Yes, I did. Just look around the may at the mayhem they're causing. They've totally halted my research. If they're not stopped, the entire planet could be totally destroyed. Actually, that's true. They're called Crawl, and they move, ara move around via the Black Vortex as you see. The voracious planetary predators, and they've targeted the non-aero system. I bet the Vortexes have something to do with the shadow I detected between Zeba's two moons. I believe the shadow has been affecting the orbits of the moons as well as Zeba's magnetic field. The MPP believes the Crawl are trying to set up a base in non-aero from which to attack our planets. If what you're saying is true, it may well be one of Zeba's moons. 
I've got to do something about this. My research is vital and it's at a total standstill now. Do you and the NPP have a plan? We do, but my ship's a mess. I got pulled in by the magnetic field and had to crash land. Oh, really? Yeah, take this. It should help you out. I got a damage... D mag unit. Oh. Install this in your spacecraft to be able to cut right through the magnetic field. Thanks, Professor Cates. I'll give this to my partner when I get back to the ship. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's just, uh... A little easier. Okay. Gina, check out this D mag unit that Professor Kate gave us. Let me see. This is amazing. I've never seen a D-Mag unit this powerful before. I try to install it right away. If it works properly, we might just be able to take off. Spacecraft has been improved. Yay. That did it. We're good to go. Okay. Now. I need to visit the other areas. Start with area two. That's such a weird one. <laughs> Pretty sure I have to do the same thing on either side. Let me check out what my things can do here. Let's see. Not line up, shit. I got. Okay. I'm just curious how much this new item will give. Minus 16 HP, but plus 40 defense. Damn. Alright, let's feed you all of my defense minerals. Just beef out your defense beyond what it ever should be. 454 defense. <laughs> okay, then I'll also give you one health mineral to. Bring that up to the next level. Oh yeah. That'll do. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Shit. Here. I switch you here. Actually. I'm gonna feed you all of my attack minerals. Might give him one level. Probably. But that's all I need. So after I put after I put this down for the day, I can put him in the incubator. And then by the time I come back, he'll be ready to <coughs> he'll be ready to evolve. Damn it, I did it again. I don't want that. You. There we go.
if I manage to beat this game, I will go back to Zelda, but at some point I may go to the next Spectros game. Ah, it's a big if. I just got attacked right out the bat. Uh, blue, so my best bet is this guy. He's fine. There you go. Thank God they're stupid. Oh, the K, that didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Thankfully. A little bit closer. Oh, he shocked me. That's a little shocking. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. All right, so everything here seems to have a flash alignment. At least all three of them did. That's weird. I did not expect that. <laughs> okay. It's weird because this one's the red moon. I can only go up sections that are lit. Yeah. <laughs> Where do I go? There's something north that I didn't go that I didn't go to. Aha! Pretty sure I have this. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I found this before. Yep. It makes it so much faster and easier. And I wish there was a, a similar thing for fossils. I don't know if there is. I have not played this game in ages. So if there is, I don't remember. Okay, I think I have actually collected this thing as an Alpod. I have. Many of these things. Okay, we're just gonna move on. Keep looking. Ah! You can't hide from me! Five seconds on the dot. I don't know if I have this one. Oh wait, it's Amber. Yeah, I have dug up this before. Okay, we're good. Woo! Not here. Not here. Oh boy. Swarmek and Subar. Alright, these guys I can deal with with this guy. Luckily, his defense is through the fucking roof. Ow! Okay, that hurt. Way more than it should have. I'm sorry, what is that? Ow. Back off. Closer, buddy. Good job. <laughs> Whew. 
lagging. Don't look like it. My end's fine. My end is fine. It's lagging. It's your. It's on your end. Okay. okay. Maybe up this way. Oh, hello. There we go. Frames? My frames are fine. It's on your end. And I've also got it up on my phone right here so I can see if it's lagging. So, it's not on my end. Is this something I've gotten before? Yeah. I'm just gonna leave it for now. No point in wasting my time. Well. Running this now. Okay, this is this is handleable. Back off. Nice. That works. Ah, shit. Back up. There we go. Perfect. Whew. Doing good. Doing good. I go up here. Well, there's gotta be something in that corner right there. Hold up. I swear if the game devs did not put something in this corner, they did it wrong. They put one fossil. What's, oh no. One fossil and it's something I've never found before. Oh, this is a weird one. I remember this thing. This is a weird one. Kuba pod. This is like a floating worm. What's oh no? There's something. Another one. No point in wasting my time with that. Oh god. Okay, more of the same. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> my controller died. that to get worse than it already is. <laughs> My controller died as soon as I entered a battle. <laughs> Ooh, buddy! Is this the right one? Yeah, it is. Alright. Okay. Taking a second. I don't think it's entirely sure what it wants to do here. I just hope it works. It does not work! Okay. 
Now it's player one. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh boy. Ah! I'm back. Roll right through. Hit one of them. Ah! Fine. Oh, that didn't go well. Ow. Okay. Okay, so this guy looks like he just puts down a bunch of landmines. Okay, I can literally do this myself. A little closer. There you go. Okay, I got it to work. We're fine. <laughs> ah, come on. I only need like one more point for attack to level up. Okay, this is a dead end. But, I've got a mineral. I'm fine, I just picked this thing up. Hi. Yeah, it was just me picking this thing up off the ground and it hit my desk. Like that. Okay, fine. Avoid that if I can. Perfect. That's two down. Come on, a little bit closer, buddy. Good boy. Ah. Yeah, I know, thud. Just I I picked up this pad. Because this is what I use for the touchscreen things. I use this to do the touchscreen stuff. And it just hit my desk. Okay, now we're over here. There's definitely something there. You can see up in the top screen here. something? No. This? No. Why would you give me these gaps and not put anything in them? Feels like a missed opportunity there, buddy. a bunch here. Okay, so there's just two fossils and two minerals. I think I have this. Yeah. Ooh, this is new. Onyx. So this will be defense minus 16 and attack plus 40, I think. Uh, excuse me. We're finding some high-end minerals now. Hello? How's it going, Rollin? Have you seen anything that could be the crawl's nest? Nothing so far, and I haven't seen any sign of a huge shadow either. Maybe check out Zeba's other moon. Let's give it a try. What do you mean you haven't seen something like a huge shadow? There's a giant ass thing right here. 
I'm not gonna miss out on these minerals before I go back. Oh, this makes my life so much easier. Four and a half seconds. Four seconds. One more. That's just the this thing. Yep. Jade. Not the color that jade is, but sure. Anything at the door of this thing, I wonder? There's a cube. I don't think I have the Yoda cube. We're gonna find out. Ugh. Ah. That was it. Bunch of lights. That's about it. Anything else? Before I go back to the ship? Doesn't seem like it. Try this corner over here and then I'll go back. Nope. Alright. Heal and save. Check with Aldis to see what, uh... If I have any new cubes. Yep, I have at least one. Yep, this is new. Inscribe a text about Spectrobe's environments called Terrains. It says that the terrain you select should match the properties of the Spectrobe you are training. There are terrains for each of the three Spectrobe properties, which are Corona, Aurora, and Flash. That's what it says. More, special cube of sorts. It increases the number of terrains you can select in the incubator. Yes! You can now select different terrain types in the incubator. Try ex experimenting with different types of terrain next time you use the incubator. Yes! Okay. I'm not too sure what that does. I'm hoping it, like, improves what they gain from minerals, maybe? Let's do an experiment here. Let's do an experiment. Let's see. So let's take... Uh, you. Yeah. Now. What do I have here? I have two of these. If I feed you this... That... Raise it up by maybe a fifth. If I switch the terrain. Okay. This is Flash Favors, Favors Aurora. Okay. Okay. So this favors Aurora. So now, if I feed you the health mineral, does that improve how much it gives you? Significantly. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's gonna be so useful. That's gonna be so useful. I may as well give him another level in his health while I'm here. I think about it. I've already done that much. I'm not gonna blue ball him. But this, I think one might just be enough.
Nope, not quite. There we go. Okay. I do have a thing. Hold up. I got a very special mineral for you. His defense is already zero. And his health is just leveled up. Let's give him these. So this will be a huge increase to his attack. Ooh, that's almost half just for that. Oh, this is amazing. I love this. <laughs> Two minerals! And I got a level up on an evolved spectro. Yes! I much I love how I'm playing these old games that I had no clue how to handle as a kid. And I'm much smarter now, and I'm figuring this shit out, and it's just amazing to me. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Let's see. Let's assign... This one is Aurora. Let's make this one... No, not Spectro. Let's make this one Flash, I guess. Okay, that's cool. And I'll make one for Corona. This is specifically for feeding the minerals. Perfect. So now it'll be much easier for me to improve my spectrodes when I need to restock, if I ever need to restock, or just improving them in general. It's just gonna be easier. Coming back to these old games smarter is just fantastic. I, I love it. I love the feeling it gives me. It's like when I went back to Dragon Quest IX after being really stupid. And realizing how stupid I was. That was Area 2. Go to Area 3. Oh, fuck. I missed it. There we go. Get back here! Actually, while I'm here, I may as well. Let's see. Go to the, the flash one. Stick you in here. And then we'll feed you this. Your health is really low anyway, so I'll feed you that. And a couple of these. And this. Trade this one out for this real quick. This is just fantastic. Attack level up. Yes. Just the beefier the better. The Spectropes have 128 levels. You can essentially just pour all of their level into one stat if you want it. This one, your defense just raised, so I don't really need to do that right now. But this, and a couple of these, should raise your attack and health stats, maybe. Depends on what the attack stat do right now. 
Not quite, but this should definitely raise your health stat in the least. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Perfect. Alright. What are you standing at? Uh, using that will lower his HP. His defense isn't that high right now. So I'll hold off on that for the time being. Oh, I love how I, how I just figured this out. That's great. That's so good. And it makes sense. I don't know why I didn't realize this as a kid. I don't know if it also, like, speeds up their, um... Speeds up their, uh, evolution timer, their incubation time. Because Spectrobes also have to spend some time in incubation before you can evolve them. No, wait, do this! Wrong guy! Thank you. A little closer. Thank you. Nope, I'm doing something wrong here. Okay, we're fine. That's two. Okay, fine. Back off. Oh, good. Essentially, the map here should be like, almost exactly the same, I think. It's a little turned around in some places. I think the idea behind these moons was that they were almost exactly the same map, just in opposite directions, I believe. Waste opportunities. Nope, don't want that. I'm much more interested in minerals than fossils right now. That's where I just came from, I think. Or is that where I just came from? That might be where I just came from. I think I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, this is it. Okay, hi. Ah, shake. Okay, back off, back off. Ow! You can sit down. Perfect. Sort of. Either way, we're fine. Okay, deluxe serum. Ooh, hello. Three minerals. Barely under four seconds. Ah! Thought I could get three seconds on that one. Nope, fuck, wrong button. What is happening now? There you go. I have found this one. We're fine. I gotta be careful about the purple ones. Because they're a relatively new thing. At least for this area.
I always stuff something in the corner. Right up against the corner right there. Especially if something's buried. That's like a perfect place to put something that's buried. They're just the exact same map, not the same map in opposite direction. I think this. Maybe it's the material that's in the that's in places. No sign of any crawl nest here either. On the other hand, that's not good. So this is what's been causing a mat that massive shadow. You're the unlucky pest of the day. I'm going to make you pay for defacing Ziba. Let's do this. Oh, God. I was not expecting a boss right now, but sure. Okay, I think they're Corona. Good job, buddy. You're doing good. Ow! Jesus Christ, they're fast. Ow! Damn it! Holy shit! Okay. Fine. You want to play hardball? Let's play some fucking hardball. God damn it. I can't really move him in path after he starts doing that. Luckily, they seem oddly good at taking damage. Okay. Cool, buddy. Gotcha. Yes. Okay, I'm getting it. Just got to get in their path. Draw them out one at a time. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, sir. I'm gonna slow down for a hot second there. I can't tell where he is. I hit him. I'm just gonna have to do it like this. Okay, I hit the wrong one, I think. Gotcha. Okay, this is working. I hit him. Come on, buddy. Gotcha. Can I punch him? Oh, Jesus. Shit. Okay, that's not helping me in any capacity. Fuck. I'm trying to stun him for a second so I can get my guy on my left to attack him. I'll just be a timing thing I have to deal with. Or not. Ow.
Okay. Guess I'll just do this the way I've been doing it. Ah, come on! So you literally have to use the offensive shield to hit him. That's fine. You know what? That's fine. Wait. Gotcha! Yes! I just remembered that I have homing, homing missiles. <laughs> Woo! Nice! Very nice! Ooh. Ah, what happened? The moons are slowing down. I just destroyed a huge leader crawl. I think it was causing the problem with Ziva's moons. Well, I've confirmed that the moons are returning to their original orbits. Good work. What about the nest? Did you find it? Bad news. No sign of it here. Understood. Don't worry. We'll find it. It has to be somewhere in Nana Euro, and we have to find it fast. We will. Keep your chin up. We're waiting for you at the ship. In a few minutes. Okay. I think it's no matter which moon you go to first. The second moon is always the one that you end up finding it on. Why am, I why am I still finding yellow combo minerals? Because they're combo minerals. I don't have the row cube, I don't think. Because I have to dig it out by hand. I'm not gonna bother with the fossils. Should be one round here, I think. No? Guess not. Oop. Aha! Okay, I have found this before. There we go. And one more. Perfect. All right. For now we fly back. Okay, something's happening. Gina, Roland, come in, come in. Have you completed your investigation of Ziva? Yes, sir. I encountered and eliminated a large leader crawl. But I didn't find any signs of a crawl nest. That's not good. I fear we're running out of time. Sir, what do you want us to do? I just received a report from the observatory here on Colin. It says that Mado, the seventh planet, has vanished completely from our radar. How could a planet just vanish? We believe it's still there, we just can't see it. The astronomers at the observatory believe that this can only mean one thing. Black vortexes have completely covered the entire surface of the planet. We feel confident that the crawl nest must be there. Crawl launched their attack on Bjorna from a planet cloaked in shadows as well. We must set a course for Mado. 
What's wrong? Why are you hesitating? I'm sure you found the site of the crawl nest. You don't understand. It's not possible. Mado is the farthest planet in the source in the star system. We don't have the technology to send manned spacecraft that far out in space. What? If only my starship had survived the journey here. I can't believe it. We find the nest and it's out of reach. Maybe Crawl have intelligence after all. We can't just sit here and wait for them to attack us again. It's too early to give up yet. So I didn't give up yet. Professor Kate? Is that you? She has her own theme song. Commander Grants, it's been a long time. I apologize for eavesdropping. Kate, you have changed haven't changed at all. What makes you say it's too early to give up? Hello, well, Commander. I just had a brilliant idea. Roland, can you make your way to my lab? I've got something here that just might solve your problem. Sure, but You have to go, Roland. You may be our only hope right now. We need to see what she's suggesting. Understood, sir. We'll depart for Professor Kate's lab now. She's probably talking about the keystone that I need to take to the ship. Well, you'll see. See, this is where shit's kicking off. I just gotta make my way up to our lab again. Shouldn't be too hard. move faster. Next thing's a little crunchy, but... Okay, we're fine. Okay. Oh boy. Alright, you deal with them. You deal with this guy. Okay. Nice. Ow. Nice. 90 that time. What's um? Oh shit, I didn't finish him off. Okay. What's um? Whew. 50. We're getting up there. I went the wrong way, I think. Ooh, there's a couple things here. Speed up was hurting my ears. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll st I won't do that anymore then. I have headphones on. Okay. You made it! I'll get straight to the point. You know of the ruins on planet Nessa, don't you? Yes, I... I've even been inside. That will help. Now, this may sound like nonsense, but the ruins are actually an interstellar spaceship. The ancients built it in order to reach distant star systems. If you could actually figure out how to operate it, we may be able to reach Donna Eero's outer planets. You really do believe the ruins are part of a huge spaceship? Yes, and this red gem is called a keystone. I think it's part of the ship's ignition and power system. There's also another green one in the museum on Colin. Both of them are taken from within the ruins on Nessa. We have to return them to the original spots they were found. I'm certain they can make the starship fly again. Really? I know it's hard to believe, I can't blame you for doubting me. 
Given our op our options, don't you think we should you should give it a try? If I went completely serious, do you think I'd actually give you this rare stone? Here, take it. And I got the red one. You need this to get the second keystone out of the museum on Colin. A letter from Kate. Those letters to the curator of the museum on Colin. His name is Webster. I'm the one who left the keystone with the museum for safekeeping. Given the situation, Webster should be more than happy to give it back to us. Now go. You must try to bring that ancient starship back to life. I'll do my best. Alright. The problem is going to be the third one. Pretty sure that one's going to be a fetch quest. I think I know what the fetch quest is. The biggest problem. Ah, shisa. Drop my controller. I think we made a lot of progress today. Which is shocking. Maybe I did too well in upgrading my spectropes. Just as well. I just remember this game being really fucking hard as a kid. I still think if if we do get to three, that one's still going to be really hard despite the fact that I am more knowledgeable now. Oh, it's going to be a fun time indeed. Hi there. Mr. Webster, I have a letter you need to read. Roland gave the letter from Kate to Mr. Webster. What's this? Looks like Professor Kate's handwriting. What does it say? What? She wants me to give the keystone to you? But the keystone is the pride and joy of our museum. This is absolutely absurd. The keystone is vital to the peace and security of our star system. We need your help. This is all so hard to believe. But I can't rightly refuse a request from Professor Kate. It can't be helped, I suppose. Please take great care of it. See, that was easy. Problem. To be the third one. I myself still don't quite believe Professor Kate's theory about the ruins being some kind of ship. But I hope this keystone helps you with the with your mission just the same. Oh boy. How are things looking, Rollin? I just got the keystone from Mr. Webster. That's great. Let's set a course for the ruins on Nessa. Oh great. I have to go drop them off first. And then I have to realize I need the third one. And then I need to go talk to Cyrus, who is then going to want something from me of equal value. Or at least what he considers equal value. And I think I know what it is and where I'm going to get it. <laughs> and that is where the suit comes in that I was talking about before. Why did I do that? Go this way. Okay. It's on area three. Okay, so now I gotta get all the way over. Back to the ruins again. Okay. More of these guys in my way than before, it seems. Shouldn't be too much difference in strength, though. Come here. 
There you go. Ow! Bitch! Okay. Okay, okay, we're fine. Okay, he's attack leveled up, that's good. Wow, he's gone up a lot. Okay, I need to go this way. I did see another staircase over here, which confused me. And I wanted to check what this was on stream. Let's see if there's anything here. Not immediately, anyway. Weird. I can't get to the back. Going this way. That kind of sucks. And there's nothing up here. It's just... a location thing. Why would they set up an entire environment for decoration? There's nothing up here. Okay. And get some. Okay, that didn't work out. Okay, apparently he does three attacks, not two. Spread out a little bit. Where's the third one? There he is. This way. Up here. It goes over here. This way. South entrance. This one, I think. Nope, not this one. This one. And then we go down here. Here we go. And this takes me to the control room.
Oh, there should be some special places to position the keystones inside the ruins. You have to find them. Roger. Okay, so I have the red and green stones. There's a red circle here. Place the red keystone. I'll place the red keystone into the circle. And I go over here. There's a green circle here. Place the green keystone. Yes. Now, the problem is the blue keystone. I found where the keystones go and I placed them there. Did anything happen? Not yet, anyway. What's that rumbling? The tremor, it stopped. There must be something else we need. I know what it is and I can't believe we overlooked it. We need to have the blue keystone that we took to Cyrus. That's right. We have to get it back from him. You gotta find him fast. Get yourself back here ASAP. You got it. Oh. oh boy. Hey, I think I need to go this way. Gotta get outside. Okay, there was this guy in the way. I didn't see him in time. But it's fine. Totally fine. Nice! Hell yeah! Okay. Uh, Eggway's attack is almost leveled up. Okay, so now I just gotta... This... Here. I'm trying to get as much done as I can in what time I have. I'm doing all right, I think. I beat two boss monsters. Fairly easily, actually. guy over here that will buy my platinum ores that I've been digging up. Go ahead and take care of that. On the way. There he is. I just I have one? Really? This one is the rogue cube. That's a new one. I think I have the Theta Cube. Only a hundred for these things? Delta Cube. And the Zeta Cube might be new. I should really talk with the dude, bro. Okay, up here. A bit further to the right, and up this way. Okay, big guy. 
Oh, it's you. I don't remember summoning you again. You planetary patrol officers sure seem to have a lot of free time on your hands. Cyrus, I need to strike another deal with you. I need to get the blue keystone back. You want my keystone? You must be kidding me. Kate stole my first one, and now you want to steal my second? I'll never forget the day she persuaded me to give her the keystone for research. But we need the keystones to save the star system from certain destruction. Destruction? My keystone is somehow supposed to help. What kind of a fool do you take me for? Even a kid would see right through that lie. No lie, Cyrus. The Black Vortexes are attacking other planets now. You must have heard. The entire star system is in danger. Boy, are you shooting straight with me? Super straight. I need that keystone. It's the only way to save the Nanairo star system. I see. Alright, I'm going to trust you, but there's one condition. You're going to bring me something equally rare in exchange. What do you want? Legacy, Legacy has it that a precious diamond mineral exists on Tabletop Mountain on Planet Daichi. There it is. If I, bring it, if I bring it to you, will you give me the keystone? You're beginning to understand how I work. Understood. We have a deal. Let's do this. The Ikuze part is just like Dizzy trying to throw in some extra Japanese for the Japanese style that this is in. It just means let's go. And it's not something that I plan to shout in English. And I'll leave that to the voice actors on, uh, in three. In Spectrum's Origins. <laughs> Do you want to say... Okay. All good. Now, here is where problems will arise. I need... Better armor. You get the keystone from Cyrus. There's a unique diamond-like gem he wants to exchange for it. The mineral of sorts, he says, it could only be found on Tabletop Mountain on Planet Daichi. You say Tabletop Mountain? You have any idea what kind of place that is, Rollin? A mountain like a table, right? Right? It's a really weird place. The Aurora reaches really close to the ground there. And the Aurora drains the life out of anyone it touches. But I promised Cyrus that we'd get the diamond mineral for him. If there was only something to protect the body from the harmful effects of the Aurora. Come to think of it. I've got it. The researchers on Daichi wear special Corona suits. I wonder if we could buy one somewhere. Wear a Corona suit, you won't be harmed by the effects of the Aurora. What about the Spectrobes? I'll need them to help me hunt for minerals. Will they need suits too? Let's just get to Tabletop Mountain first. I'll come up with something along the way. The most important thing now is finding that diamond mineral so that we can get the keystone. Now, I don't know if Aurora Spectrobes would be affected. I'm pretty sure Corona Spectrobes are immune, and I feel like Flash would probably be dead. This is a bunch of stuff that I'll have to take care of outside of, uh, being online, though, so. Offline, I'll raise some Corona Spectropes, and I'll handle it then. Yes, white. Okay, I need this. Can I get both of them? Well, five. Ah, uh, just barely under what I need for the, for this one. This one? This one. If I have this, then... My HP goes up significantly. It's just plus 200. I can't afford this one. 
So I'll get this for after the fact. No, wait. If I just fight one tornado, I should have enough for that as well. One vortex, I mean. There we go. My favorite color is red, so this is also my favorite outfit. It just looks awesome. Okay. Let's see. You have anything new to say? No. Okay. If I fight something real quick, I should have enough. Oh. To get the level 7 armor for after the facts. I know where I need to go. My question is which of my spectrobes are going to be affected by the Aurora? And we'll figure that out when we get up there. Oh, up here. Okay, guess we're finding something. Now we're talking. You have an idea? What's that? Nice! Attack and defense went up. Not this way. No, this way. Okay. I need to think, what do I need to do first? You have on a suit with Corona properties. If you don't properly equip it, the Aurora will drain your strength with every step you take out there. I know, I know. Put a sign that says do not enter. What should I do? Do this situation, you can ignore it for now. Plus, for the NPP. Besides, that's what's more important. Save the star system or obeying that sign. Gotcha. Just remember, Corona properties can prevent Aurora damage. If one of them die up there, they just don't count. No, they'll, they'll count. I just gotta figure out which ones are affected. see. Uh, Nobody's taking damage yet. Probably because I'm not outside up there yet. Right? Yeah. Okay. There it is. Okay. So that did something. That affected everything except Corona monsters. Great. So it even affects Aurora monsters. That sucks. So I'll have to print up some Corona monsters then. Oh well. Yeah. That's gonna suck. Um, but other than that, it's, it, it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'll figure it out. I'll just do that uh, between sessions and do a lot of mineral mi uh, hunting. Everything will be fine. 
well, right now, it's been two and a half hours, so I have to cut it here. You enjoying this? You seem to be enjoying this. Uh, see ya. Good. Glad you're enjoying this, because I'm enjoying this more than I thought I would. <laughs> this is fun. But yeah. Thank you so much for coming by and hanging out today. Uh, I hope everybody else who's watching on Lurk, it seems, uh, is enjoying this. I'm surprisingly enjoying this. I'll work on this off screen. Uh, but for now, I hope y'all have a good rest of your day and I'll see y'all later. This one is better? What do you mean this one is better? Better than what? The last game? Chrono Cross? You saying that this is better than Chrono Cross? Or better than... We just started Chrono Cross. And we're... Kind of a ways into this game. Like, I think we're at about the halfway point in this game. Chrono Cross just started. But that's a that's an argument for another day. Thanks once again for coming by. Hope you have a rest of your day, and I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all. It's just fun. Ah.